Okay, now let me talk about intent or intention. Yeah, uh, if you this is this, the follow up to um, attention, uh, how your attention moves independent of your free will. This is called intention. Uh, those of you who can't relate it to the Mandela effect, you need to really. Uh, um, you haven't really seen anything yet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, you need to try and figure out how the Mandela Effect begins to understand why these talks are relevant to the Mandela Effect. Those of us who are targeted individuals will already know, uh, those of us who are at the very highest levels will already know, that um, the last result method is to change reality. Um, when they target us, and they target our minds, and they uh, try to drive us insane or uh, try to drive us into some adverse um, state of being. They use all forms of tricks, gang stalking, street theater, but the last result, when you get to the very highest levels, the last result would be for them to result to changing reality, to try and drive you insane. Yeah. Now, they conspire with the paranormal. Yeah. So basically, this is the, the way I talk about the game of life that brings it to life. So sometimes people conspire with the paranormal yeah, to drive you uh, insane. Or sometimes the paranormal yeah, conspires with the paranoia aspect of your uh, self to drive you insane. Yeah? So the paranoia is always working with these two and you're at... Uh, the opposing end of that. Yeah, sometimes it's good, uh, so that's always a good thing. But sometimes it's bad, so you don't really attack the trap paranoia. Sometimes there's forces which favor you. Sometimes there are those paranormal. I mean, sometimes there's forces that favor you. Sometimes there's forces that don't. Um, so basically, I wanted to talk about intent. Yeah, obviously, I'm gonna drop this at the lowest levels because. Um, when you reach my level, um, uh, whenever these demonic forces mess around with me, they know they're going to need to change an aspect of reality yeah, to cover what they're doing. I have deepest, deepest knowledge where I'll be able to deduce what's at hand, and in order to hide themselves, they'll need to change what's real. Yeah, so I don't have the power to change anything. It's those who fool around with me that, that have the power to change it. But it's just that um, when you're a targeted individual of my of my uh, stature, uh, you understand nature better than they do. They learned how to manipulate nature, but they don't understand why what they're doing results uh, in that desired result. They just know that it works. Yeah. So I too don't need to know um, how it works. All I know is that if they don't use anything paranormal, yeah, whatever they're doing, I'm intelligent enough to deduce and expose. So they're going to have to conspire with the paranormal uh, to change reality all the time. This is what's leading to the Mandela effect. When they fool around with the very highest level um, of being, of human being, uh, which is, well, I'm one of them, I don't know uh, how many of you are out there, but all I know is that with me, it's always been that. Anyway, back to my talk, intention. So, attention can be beyond your will, but intention is always within uh, your will, within your control. So, you know the cliche saying, which is, think before you act? Well, more specifically, that should be uh, think about what you're going to do before you do it. Now, if your attention is drawn to uh, a shoe, <laughs> yeah, just then I looked at my shoe, uh, then you start thinking about what you intend to do now that you are paying attention to your shoe. That rhymes, that's all right. <laughs> so, um, then you start, before you, you figure out, before you can answer the question, what do I intend to do? Uh, you start, you can play the game of life there. Now, you see, uh, 
you ask you deal with the cards then you ask yourself now you see me my attention being drawn to that shoe was that down um, to uh, people using NLP uh, at an earlier stage or conspiring against me in some way uh, to make me look at that or is uh, something to do with the paranoid way I'm reasoning um, that somehow uh, it's just a random event and I uh, just looked at it but now I'm thinking there's more to it than what meets the eye or was it me because you know I'm a higher level being here so I do NLP or myself yeah to get me to a better place life coaches will tell you that uh, so I tell myself I'm great I tell myself I'm good I tell myself uh, I train myself to look for positive things you know when uh, for example when you look at the color red and then afterwards everything you see seems to be red <laughs> after that point so I can choose to to look at something so that when I go outside I see that so I do NLP on myself it could be me oh well uh, nine <laughs> two nines that's not bad uh, like I said conspiracy somebody done that to me oh a nine and a five could have been uh, or oh, uh, it could be paranoia, just me making more of what's not there. Uh, one free, or it could be the paranormal uh, dictated my uh, attention um, to that, um, led my attention to there. No, it wasn't. That's the seven. So it was a, a conspiracy. Now, what do I intend to do? If it's not from me, or if it's not paranoia, yeah. I'm gonna fight against it. I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna do anything. I don't intend to do anything because I'll be falling into these traps here. Yeah, these are traps, and this is you. That's why there's a slightly yellow um, frame, and these are red. These are traps, but this is you. This is all you. Yeah. So if it's not me, uh, then uh, I'm not really gonna do anything about that. Now you got to think about. Um, with the field that we're living in if when you go to society there's people who's very inconsiderate like women say well why can't i dress what i what i want to dress in it's because you're gonna draw people's attention to you yeah you have to be considerate they when you dress provocatively yeah uh someone's attention is going to be drawn to you you'll be sticking out not everyone in the world dresses provocatively so when you do it you stick out or when you wear in a bright right so bright pink dress and everybody's wearing bland you stick out so you draw attention to yourself but then um well, i'm a heterosexual so i'm designed to feel attracted to someone um to to someone who um who's showing me their erogenous zones if they're female so if you're wearing something that's designed to show your private parts or to make them prominent uh i'm gonna be drawn my attention will be drawn to that and I'll become uh, horny. <laughs> so, but some of them do this when they're trying to trap you. Some of them are doing uh, honey traps and some of them are doing it when they're being inconsiderate. Then there's people who um, like to fall asleep in public. So you see, you look on the train and the person ahead of you is doing that. Yeah. Now, obviously, this is inadvertent, but that's NLP. Yeah, you're gonna start monkey see monkey. You're gonna start to drift away as well. There's people who are inconsiderate. Yeah, you know, I think I had in Japan. You're supposed to walk with your hands by your side, no sudden movements, uh, for the same reason. You have to be considerate. Uh, but because we have inconsiderate people, people are like, why should I care what other people think? Because we have that in society, you got to think about what you intend to do when your attention. Uh, he's, he's grabbed by something yeah so when you see a woman dressed like that and you ask yourself right uh, is she conspiring against uh, anybody who tries to talk to her yeah uh, and then you say could be J J4 oh and me too uh, and <laughs> a man like me and then you could ask yourself well um maybe it's something i did to myself yeah uh, i wanted to go and look for a woman and and that too <laughs> and i just saw her because of that yeah uh but there's also an element of conspiracy there uh and then you say oh and if 
and there's also an element of paranoia there. So. <laughs> Uh, let's say the more the merrier, right? <laughs> no, no, nothing final. So these are earthly and earthly reasons. Uh, they are conspiracies. Um, J J J J. And there's also uh, uh, an element of paranoia, yeah. And it's also something you did to yourself. Um, so then you, when you see a woman that that is like that, and what should you do, yeah? Um, hmm. and there's no paranoia, paranormal in it. Um, <clears throat> if there's no paranormal in it, you should be able to see the conspiracy. And because you know it's paranoia, yeah, I'll go for that. But if there's paranormal, you won't be able to see it coming. It means that whatever conspiracy she's with is working with the paranormal to see into your mind, basically, uh, to to know your intention. Yeah, before. Uh, you act so you could start thinking about going to chat to her then all of a sudden now this is an intention yeah you can intend to go and talk to her then all of a sudden in the background people start to move as if they they're coming out of the woodworks then you can expose her conspiracy yeah just take a step towards her like you're going to talk to her and then you stop and then you, you start to see people just coming out of the woodworks like they're preparing to be there uh, when you get there. Uh, you can draw her conspiracy out. Uh, and if, they, if they, there's nothing there, then you can take another step. And you do the mammalian things. Mammals, when they approach each other to procreate, uh, they don't just rush towards each other. They, they take steps. And each step is like a, a dance. Each step tails the other one that the coast is clear and you eliminate conspiracy and this should also help with your paranoia so that's how I would approach the situation uh, next time as the game of life just told me next time I see a woman and my attention is drawn to her breast or whatever I'm gonna try and check for conspiracy uh, neutralize the paranoia and uh, obviously this is something I wish to do for myself find a woman out there uh, and we'll see but if there's a paranormal component in it, I stand no chance. Her man doesn't even have to turn up. Yeah, All he does is work with the paranormal to see into my man and he will see my intent. He will see whatever I do with her. Yeah, So be careful with your intention because there's the paranormal who's also on the table. He's got cards on the table. And they, the ones who conspire against you do work with the paranormal from time to time. And I think what they do, they form circles um, or a seance or some crap like that, where one of them um, contacts uh, something paranormal and they, ha they have like a live feed into your mind by using paranormal means. Yeah, so they can see the contents of your thoughts uh, and then, the other, then she speaks it and then the other ones hear it and they react to it. So if you see a woman that's standing there uh, with our friend when you interact with her yeah chances are that the friend will be reworking the paranormal and the conspiracy behind her uh, to relay to them what's happening in front of her eyes yeah and you when you reach my level um, the paranormal doesn't want to be seen at all so if you figure out a way of seeing it it will always hide yeah and i've had instances where i've seen paranormal things and they've told me to stop looking at them <laughs> yeah and they've gone back and, and hidden by me like every time you lay eyes on it it hides so but now um it results to changing our reality when it's seen yeah but that's another way of of um, the paranormal messing with my consciousness or anyone's consciousness that they use to change to change reality and I haven't figured out how to protect myself against that but the Mandela effect is what happens when it escalates from that when it changes the reality uh, of what you've seen then it realizes that somebody else saw it too then it changes there so it ends up uh, fooling around with everyone but that's something paranormal that's happening um, sometimes the good forces in nature do it, but sometimes evil forces do it too. So you've got to be very, very careful out there. 
uh, when you get to my level good and evil is kind of a gray area i think it becomes obsolete <laughs> where there's just right and wrong there's no such thing as good and evil uh, so bear in mind that your intent must be something that you have considered at length uh, before you act yeah uh, because we have traps and we also have the uh, paranormal aspect of those traps that are all fighting against you that's it